Hello again, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Com. Set operators allow you to combine the results of multiple separate queries into a single result set. We'll use two basic queries to build most of the examples in this video. The first query returns departments 10, 20 and 30. The second query returns departments 20, 30 and 40. So we can see departments 20 and 30 are common to both result sets. The union set operator returns all distinct rows selected by either query. That means any duplicate rows will be removed. Notice there's only a single row each for departments 20 and 30 rather than two. The union all set operator returns all rows selected by either query. That means any duplicates will remain in the final result set. We can see now we have two rows for each of the departments 20 and 30. Intersect returns all distinct rows selected by both queries. That means only those rows common to both queries will be present in the final result set. We can see here only departments 20 and 30 are displayed. Using minus we get all the distinct rows from the first query that are not present in the second. That leaves us with just department 10. Minus is functionally equivalent to the ANSI set operator except distinct. The order by clause applies to all rows returned in the final result set. It can reference the column names or column aliases from the first query block, but typically you'll see people use the column position as it's a lot clearer. The data types must match for the same column position in each query. To demonstrate this, we've converted the first column in the first query from number to string, and that's broken the statement. Implicit conversions will be possible between some data types, for example, char and varchar2, or conversion between some numeric types, but you shouldn't rely on these. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box for more information. Subscribe and like if you want to see more.